For the past few weeks, we've been introducing you to local companies that have been singled out for their attention to customer service and satisfaction. These companies have received the Consumer's Choice Award for their excellence in customer service and satisfaction. Today, meet another local company, The Waterworks, and they're a Consumer Choice winner. Joining me now, David Speck, President of The Waterworks, John O'Connor, Vice President of Residential and Commercial Operations, and Technician Darren Miller. And welcome to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. David, you're the president, so I'm going to start with you. Okay. He's the boss guy, so we'll start with That's him right. first. How would you describe Waterworks? I mean, you've been in business here in uh, Columbus or the Columbus area a long time, haven't you? We have. We're locally owned and operated, and uh, we're a service company. I mean, that's what we do. Uh, you know, our technicians uh, repair home business problems, uh, but we're in the plumbing service business, but we also do drain cleaning, heating and air conditioning work. Uh, we recently have gotten into the restoration business um, with all the floods and the freezing in the, this past winter. That's been a, a busy, busy section. And we also serve the commercial industrial market with our uh, with our big industrial well, business. Well, then you're busy. You have a lot of people. We do. We've got over 120 people on staff, and uh, all in Central Ohio. Uh, so we keep ourselves busy. Well, I think that is interesting that you said customer service. That's what you do. That's what you got the award for. So I think that is something to be. I'm sure the company is very proud of. Absolutely. I mean, that is the core of our business. I mean, we've got people like Darren, and they're out there meeting face to face with our clients. But uh, the overriding uh, message inside is we are about customer service. Take care of customers' needs. So, Darren, you're on the front line there. So, how many calls did you get for frozen pipes this winter and all those things? There's a lot of many hours. <laughs> a lot of many broken pipes, you know, uninsulated pipes that are that should have been insulated that wouldn't have froze if they was. Okay, well, there's a good example. If you could give some tips to our viewers. I mean, it was a tough winter for a lot of people. No one wants to think about next year, but they should. What can they do to prevent that going into, you know, the next winter? You know, getting prepared, getting the drafts fixed in their homes, uh, insulating the pipes making sure you know where all your shutoff valves are. That's the key. If you don't know where your shutoff valve is, you need to know that. Because if the water starts to spout, right, you need to right. run to it? Absolutely. And it's easy to find out? Yeah, just call us. <laughs> so that's, you want him to Perfect. say that, don't you, David? Perfect. Just call right. us. <laughs> and sometimes when you need a plumber, you need them really fast, don't you? So he brings up a very important thing. Uh, the damages cost more than the frozen pipe. And it is important to identify those spots. And where to limit your damages, I think, is uh, probably more important than taking care of that frozen pipe right away because you can stop the damage. You can turn the water off and, and survive for the moment. But if you're not aware of those things, uh, become aware or get advice from someone like Darren. And yeah, my husband gave me a tutorial this year, okay, which was good. really good. good. Well, one thing that you have as a company is um, you almost have an apprenticeship type program. And John, I know that you are instrumental in that. Why is that important to the company and how does that help your company? Well, it really goes back to the ownership and <clears throat> what is it they're trying to uh, focus on. And they focus on our employees as being just integral to the company. They have uh, great respect for the employees and they want to do everything we can. And with our customers, uh, they want, we want to provide just stellar service uh, be above and beyond what's out there. And since I've been with the company going on three years now, and I've met hundreds of plumbing companies, it, they're unique in the industry. Uh, the ownership from Tom Havens to Dave Speck to Jim Matthews and, and uh, uh, <laughs> that other guy. That's he, Rex Betsy, Curran. <laughs> Betsy, that's right, Rex Curran. So uh, their focus <clears throat> is customer service and employees. And taking those two in, uh, starting the apprenticeship program was absolutely, I know for David it was a big thing. To well, bring the that way you can train on. them the way you want them trained. Is that absolutely. right, David? Absolutely. From the bottom up. But also you know that it's going to be a quality training because you're doing the training. Right. And we were fortunate. We found Steve Wright. Uh, he was in the military nine years and he had a uh, master trainer's uh, certificate there, which less than 10% of the people in the military have. He came out, got his BA at Ohio State going on the uh, GI program and in adult education. And uh, he's been phenomenal in setting the program up. We are uh, the state labor board oversees us. Uh, we have a national accreditation, our curriculum. So it's really a benefit, not only to our employees, but to the customers as well. I, I would assume that's probably correct. Well, it's a pleasure to meet all of you. David, continue the good work with all of your folks, not only your employees, but apparently your customers are satisfied as well. Darren, thanks for the tips about the pipes too. Thank you. <laughs> Thank next you. Year, thanks.